I'm gonna try reading this out loud, but if you guys hear noise in the background, I am very sorry for that. Yeah, because the room I'm currently in is right next to the world, and we can hear cars go by sometimes. But I'm gonna try reading this thing out loud. I also will put the um, script in the comments down below, so you can see what the view is gonna look like from here, from what I'm seeing. So I hope you guys enjoy this and. To anyone else who's auditioning for the script writing, good luck to you. Ooh, I also hope you get the line, this part too. Intro, Amy's house, night. In the kitchen, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, and Blaze are planning their next move of how to deal with their newly met enemy while Amy is bandaging Sonic's arm and Maureen pouting because she wasn't allowed to participate in the planning and cream play a card game in the living room. Tails is lying. This new individual's power is extremely sketchy. I have never seen such an impressive force created by the Chaos Emeralds. Knuckles is lying. Well, the Chaos Emeralds magic is pretty chaotic. It can't be used for anything. Sonic, whoever this guy is, he really wants to turn our dimensions into his own experimental playground. Blaze's line. If we don't do something, our rules will be in total pandemonium. Amy's mind drifts off into space while she is fixing Sonic's arm. The scene flashbacks to the point of the gang's last encounter with the new enemy when he was taunting them by holding Amy hostage. The mysterious attacker has his mouth to her ear. Amy whispering to Amy. If you, you will be the first worthless rat to be exterminated alone. Sonic's line then fades into the scene. Amy, Amy, Amy! Amy snaps out of her flashback and stares at Sonic. Sonic's line, you're kind of making it too tight. Amy looks down at Sonic's wrapped up arm and loosens it to make him more comfortable. Amy, oh, sorry. Sonic's line, you okay? You've been acting weird since that creep attacked us. Amy's line, don't worry, I'm fine. Sonic, you sure? Amy, hesitantly, yeah. Suddenly, a strong neon portal opens in front of the kitchen entrance. The roll of gauze is ferociously blown off the table. The gang shields their faces from the sudden wind. Silver weakly stumbles out of the portal, looking very beaten up. When the portal closes, he immediately collapses onto the floor. Sonic's line. Silver! The whole gang rush to his side and gathers around him. When Silver opens his eyes, he sees Blaze lending him her hand. He admires her beauty before he takes her hand and then stands up. They're, they're still staring at each other. Silver's line. It's good to see you, Blaze. Blaze's line. You too. While Silver and Blaze are still ogling at each other, Marine, confused about what's going on, keeps panning in her view over between Silver, then a Blaze, then to Silver again, then a Blaze. When she finally realizes what's going on, her face turns to a look of disgust. Marine's line, Ew, cooties! Silver and Blaze snap out of their trance and everyone looks at Marine. Silver and Blaze are now blushing with embarrassment. Amy whispering to Marine, Marine? Marine's line, What? That's what they're gonna catch if they keep us up! Amy face palms herself while everyone is looking strangely at Marine. Exit. Amy's house, night. And that's it for the cutscene that I've written here. I hope you enjoy it. And again, to anyone else who auditions, good luck to you. And hope for the best.